Are you ready to transform your website and streamline your booking process? In this video, we'll show you how to effortlessly add a powerful WordPress booking form so you can boost sales and enhance customer experience. For this tutorial, we'll be using the trusted popular booking form plugin, Amelia. Amelia offers a robust feature set that makes free and premium versions an excellent choice to add a WordPress booking form to your website. From your WordPress website, head over to plugins, add new plugin, and simply search for Amelia. And here it is. Let's go ahead and install it and then activate. And now we have a new menu on the left hand side called Amelia. Let's go ahead and check out the dashboard. While this may look complicated to create your first booking form with Amelia, you only need to create the following a service and an employee service. Once these two items are created, you can do more complex things with your booking form, like adding packages, setting up payments and more. But to start now, let's just go ahead and create our first service. On the left hand side here, let's go to services. Services are organized in categories and in the premium version of Amelia, you could add multiple services to create packages. But for us right now, we're just going to create one category. We'll call it haircuts. With our first category created, we can now create our first service. Here at the top right, we're gonna press add service. On the first tab called details, we'll fill out the basic information like name. We'll select the category we just made. We can also add a description. And back up at the top is where we can add the photo. Of course, there are more options. However, you do need to upgrade in order to use them. The next tab is duration and pricing. So how long do we have to block out on our calendar? Let's say 30 minutes. And the price is going to be $35. And again, there's even more options that aren't available to us right now. Under gallery, we can go ahead and add a couple of different images here natively through WordPress. Extras is not available to us because we are on the free version and the same goes for settings. With all that configured, let's go ahead and click save. As you can see, we have our first category haircuts and our first service fade. Now we need to go ahead and create and assign a provider to the service to make our booking form. To do this, let's come over to the left-hand side and select settings. Now let's click view provider details settings. There's a lot here we can fill out like our photo name. We could also put a little description here. And of course with the pro version, you could do even more. However, we need to make sure that under assigned services, this provider is assigned to the service we just made. Under work hours, we are going to specify when this provider is able to provide that service. And same goes for days off. What days are they not available? Same goes for special days. So you could say this day, oh, I am going to be working, but I'm only going to be working half my normal shift. Once we're happy with everything, we could go ahead and click save. With our first service assigned to our first provider, we can now add a booking form for our customers to book services. But first, let's customize the form and brand it to our company style guide. Let's go ahead and select customize from the left hand menu. For this example, we'll be using the step by step booking form 2.0. As you can see on the right hand side, we have quite a few options to work through. So let's go ahead and get started. The global settings tab allows you to assign your fonts and colors, and you really can get down to the nitty gritty. The sidebar tab allows you to customize the options and labels within the sidebar of the wizard. So if we want, we could go ahead and turn it off completely, or we can say, Hey, you know what? Um, we don't want to put our phone number and it'll just take it off for you. If we don't like it saying, get in touch, we can change that to contact us or literally whatever we want for service selection. We can edit the fields, labels, and the continue button style. So as you can see right here, Hey, I don't like filled. I like plain totally up to you. And under labels, again, we can go and change what each of these things say for date and time selection. It's pretty straightforward. Again, we can say, Hey, you know what? I don't want to show our time zone because you should only be booking if you're local anyways. Uh, we could show busy time slots, very, very customizable, even down to the labels. Same goes for customer information. We could even change the order of the field. So I can say, you know what? I want their phone number before email. And then we can even come in and change what each of the labels are as well as which options are available and which ones are mandatory. Again, rinse and repeat here, payment summary. What kind of button do you want? What do you want the labels to say? It's pretty straightforward. And finally, the congratulations screen. This one, you want it to be exciting. So come in here, edit those labels, decide what kind of button you want because you want that customer to be super excited about this service they just booked. Now with that done, let's go ahead and select publish form. To add your booking form to your website, you'll need to select a page for it to appear on. Now for me, I just went ahead and created a new page. I gave it a title and now I'm going to add a block. 
I'll just go ahead and type in Amelia, and here we go. There are quite a few options. But for us, we're going to do the step-by-step -step booking because that's what we wanna add. Now you might be confused because you're seeing short code here, but we're gonna go ahead and publish this and we'll see what it looks like. Boom, there we go. All set up and ready to go. That was super easy to set up, and all the times here actually match the schedule and availability of the provider. So we can come in here and say, yeah, we wanna do this time slot. And we can see it's that 30 minute interval that we had set up. We can put in our information here, hit continue. We can see it's gonna be $35, continue again, and boom, we're all set up and ready to go. And that is pretty straightforward. What's exciting is if you are a Divi user, we actually have built-in modules. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select the one that I need. We have all of these different options built in. I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this. And just like that, we can even use Amelia directly inside of Divi. If you'd like to purchase the premium version of Amelia, do us a favor and use our link down below in the description as we may receive a commission which helps support our team and all of our ad-free videos.